Hi, I'm Steve Hosher with Razor Gauge. I'm going to talk about the new Cyclone 600 upcut saw. Cyclone 600 is different than other upcut saws. We've made it to be what we think is the best upcut saw available. What we wanted to do was offer a saw that had a, a lot, lot of capacity, a lot of cut capacity, and still make an excellent cut. To do that, we have to have a lot of rigidity so that we can stabilize the big blades and get the high capacity, but still get an excellent cut. One thing you'll notice on the cyclone saw is we put the blade right in the middle and we have a 16 inches of fence on either side so that you can really locate your part well and get it nice and square. Um, we have three quarter inch Blanchard ground steel plates on top. Uh, you can see the I-beam shape. Uh, that allows you to work on the saw easily. Everything's very accessible. Um, the saw has a PLC controller, so there's no air logic. Um, this flashing light comes on when it's time to do preventive maintenance on the saw, and there is also a counter that, the, that you can program yourself if you want to uh, indicate to the operator when it's time to, for example, change the blade. You can put in a counter that will make this light come on when you want him to change the blade, for example. Um, the other thing about the cyclone saw is that the top clamp is operated separately from the uh, motor, the saw blade coming up and down. We do that so that if you're running delicate moldings, you can reduce the pressure on the top clamp and the speed without reducing the speed or uh, pressure of the saw cylinder. So that way you can put aluminum or delicate moldings in and have the top clamp come down gently and still bring the saw blade up quickly. One thing you'll notice are these handles that we have on here. We don't ship the cyclone saw with a foot pedal or a stationary two-hand trip. Uh, the foot pedal we don't feel is safe. With a stationary two-hand uh, anti-tie-down control, the operator doesn't have a hand free to hold the material against the fence. With our safety crowders, um, you can crowd the material against the fence, either one side, the other side, or both, and then uh, cycle the saw with the two hand thumb buttons. This way the operator's hands are kept safe, but he can still crowd the material against the fence the way he wants to.